Believe it or not, Spain has the most competitive high-speed rail network in Europe, with not one, not two, not three, but four different high-speed rail companies. Perhaps you're wondering which is the best one, or the best value for your money. Well, I'll make it easy for you. Irio, hands down. Why am I so confident in that conclusion? Let's find out on this trip from Madrid to Barcelona. Let's talk about each of the four different rail operators. Renfe is the national rail company that operates the AVE, the OG of Spanish high-speed rail. It's a full-service offering. Renfe created their own low-cost operator called Avlo that has all the joys of Ryanair just on the rails. Ouigo is a low-cost subsidiary of the French national rail company SNCF, which operates the same double-decker TGVs that I've covered before. Sure, the tickets start at 8 euros, but there's all the baggage and chain shenanigans of low-cost airlines. Irio is, well, I'll get to who owns Irio later. There's a rather complicated fare class matrix, but in general there's a standard economy cabin in a 2-2 and a more premium offering in a 1-2. The Infinita class ticket comes with a premium seat and a meal, though they also sell a version without the meal in the week prior to departure. All the other differences are just in fair flexibility and marketing fluff. My most premium, expensive ticket between Madrid and Barcelona cost 44 euros and 80 cents. That's it. By contrast, the standard economy on the Ave was 100 euros. Sure, the low-cost options may have been a tad cheaper, but I was happy to pay a bit more for a meal, have a better seat, and have some ticket flexibility. Bienvenido a Madrid. After arriving at the airport that morning and wandering around for a few hours, I headed towards Atocha Station. As a newcomer, Irio was unable to get a space for a lounge in the station itself. Instead, they have contracted with the nearby hotels. In Madrid, the Irio Lounge is across the street, in the Only You Hotel. Guess you can't even bring in a guest there. The lounge was completely deserted. There's water, coffee, a model train, and not much else. Still, it's a quiet place to stay before your train, I guess. Atocha has multiple platform areas, and Irio departs from the upper level. You're allowed to go to the baggage screening area 90 minutes before departure. Platforms are announced 30 minutes prior to departure. I went to the window and admired the many high-speed trains of different companies. As an American, I'm very jealous. One thing I did notice was the age gap between the Renfe and Irio staff. There was literally one to two generations between them, and they likely get paid a lot less too. It was pretty evident which train was ours, and we lined up in two lines based on class and carriage once it was formally announced. They checked our tickets, but we just stood there for a while. Finally, we got the green light and headed down. I went to go film the back of the train and... Wait a minute! Who are you? This is a Frecciarossa 1000, the same train I covered in Italy. Irio is a joint venture between Air Nostrum and Trenitalia. Sure, it sports a Spanish flag, but look, there's the Italian flag colors too. Guess I better change the music. The seats are the same as those on Trenitalia, though this train is brand new. The Infinita class car is laid out in a 1-2. Unfortunately, Irio doesn't let you select seats when you book your ticket. Still, you have a two-thirds probability of getting a window seat. Of course, with my luck, I ended up with an aisle seat. Irio makes a big point of having 5G internet free for all passengers. The speeds are... I'm thinking my definition might be a bit different. You keep using the horn. I don't think it means what you think it means. There's also a web portal with some streaming entertainment options. We pulled out right on time. Travel time was an hour 15 to Zaragoza and 2 hours and 45 minutes to Barcelona. The Freccia Rosa train, just like those in Italy, has an operational speed of 300 km per hour, and we quickly got up to 295 km per hour as the cabin staff began the service. Service began with a hot towel. Meal selection was done online prior to the trip. 
there had been a choice of a Nordic menu or Spanish. Come on, I'm in Spain here, I'm going Spanish, though I appreciate the choice. The meal consisted of jamón, two different cheeses, and a sort of fish salad. We were also served gazpacho from a carton, which may be off-putting, but there's lots of good packaged gazpacho in Spain. All drinks, including alcohol, are included. The food quality was actually really good, far better than most trains or plane meals. We were also given bread, and there were chocolates. For reference, here's the Nordic meal. Service concluded with tea or coffee, and we were repeatedly given drink refills. The cabin staff were very friendly and helpful. I was really impressed with the meal service. As we ate, we flew through the scenic Spanish countryside. The only stop we made was in Zaragoza before we continued onwards. Finally, Barcelona came into view in the distance. And we arrived at Barcelona Sans exactly on time. So, Irio Infinita class. It was a real blast with a comfortable seat, shockingly good food, and on time. Do you need to get the fancy seat with a meal? Not at all. But for only a few extra euros, I felt it was a fun and worthwhile splurge. It's amazing that you can get between Spain cities so easily, so quickly, and in such comfort. Irio's network in Spain is fairly small, but they continue to expand. But I'm going to end this review with criticism for Trenitalia's service in Italy. Why can't we get this in Italy? Irio proves that Trenitalia knows how to do it. In that case, it's Italo that's the upstart with better service. Irio has a full meal and premium class. Trenitalia doesn't. Irio has friendly crews. Trenitalia doesn't. Irio was on time. Trenitalia wasn't. It's literally the same company and the same trains, guys. I know you can do it. Don't make me say that Jamón Iberico is better than Prosciutto. If you want to see my review of Trenitalia's Frecciarossa 1000 in three different classes, you can click here. Otherwise, I've got a flight to Oslo booked through SAS, but that's not an SAS plane at my gate now, is it? <laughs>